Hi guys, I'm here with another Broadway review, and this time, my review is for um, A Gentleman's Guide to Love and Murder, and sorry that it's so late. Um, yeah, I saw this show, I believe, last Thursday, April 17th, and it was absolutely amazing, and I absolutely loved it, and yeah, it's completely great. This is the playbill for it, and yeah, at the Walter Kerr Theater. So, I'm going to tell you what it's about. A Gentleman's Guide to Love and Murder is about this man named Monty Navarro, whose mother dies and um, soon finds out that he is ninth in line to become Earl in the Dyskin family by some weird, like, family friend named Miss Shingle. Um, he quickly decides that the way um, to become Earl is by killing the other eight family members that are before him to impress, like, his girlfriend, Sabella, or whatever. I don't know. But, yeah. I'm gonna go to cast now. Bryce Pinkham as Monty Navarro. His acting was very amazing. And, yeah, I just loved seeing his character change from, like, this very, like, humble, very disciplined, loving boy to this, like, murderous madman. And I feel like if it was just amazing. Because what I thought about the show was, like, he has a purpose and he has like this determination and this drive to actually do something. And that's what I like seeing in his character. So even if he has to kill eight people to actually get to where he wants to go, it was cool seeing that. Um, he has an amazing voice and I loved his song and act wrong, foolish to think. I would like to see him get nominated, but Jefferson Mays. As the Dysquith family. He stole the show for me. He really did. He's amazing and hilarious. I wrote hilarious with capital letters. Like, he's so funny. And, yeah. He needs to get nominated. Absolutely needs to get nominated for his Sony. No. He needs to win. I don't care. Like, his category is really, really, really hard. Because we have... The people who I think are going to get nominated is, I think, both Leeds and Les Mis are going to get nominated. Um, Will, Will Swenson and um, Ramin Karamlu, Andy Carl, Stephen Pasquale, Adam Jacobs, I think it might even get nominated. I don't know. Um, but yeah, they were all, like, it's just so hard, but I really would like to see him win because he's hilarious. Um... My two favorites of his Dicequiths are Reverend Lord Ezekiel Dicequith and Lady Hyacinth Dicequith. And their deaths are absolutely hilarious. Um, his costume changes are incredibly quick. And I was surprised how quick his um, costume changes were. Please don't think that I'm weird for this, but his tongue is a character of its own because... Almost every single of his characters have, like, this thing with their tongues in it. Lady Hyacinth's tongue was hilarious. And she's just, like, does this thing, like, stage, um, on center stage. Like, not on the stage, on the stage, but on the stage in the, like, semicircle thing that they have in the front. She just does this thing where she's like, and it was so hilarious. And I feel like if, yeah, that tongue should get nominated for crying out loud. Um, his acting is amazing. And any synonym that... Um, any um, synonym for great is what you call his performance. Because his performance was absolutely amazing. Um, Lisa O'Hare as Sabella ha Hallward. Um, she's an amazing, amazing soprano. And she's an amazing actress because I was hating her throughout the performance. I don't know if that was the task, but I feel like for like I hate her. I feel like if her character is a total bitch because she's like she only like wants the money. Like till at the end, I feel like if her character becomes a little more sincere and she actually like starts to fall in love for Monty. But I feel like if there was not enough closure. In the story, like, this is one of the, my problems with the show, that he just walks off the stage with both girls. And I'm like, so is he going to pick Sabella, or is he going to pick Phoebe, or is he going to take both? 
So I feel like if they should have just like the fact that they left it like a little like open was good. But I feel like if they should have just um said what happens. Um yeah. Lauren Worsham as Phoebe Dicequith. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. I loved her character and she has an amazing, amazing soprano. This is like one of like um Lisa O'Hare and Lauren Worsham are like one of the best sopranos that I've ever heard in my life. And they're both making their Broadway debuts. So that's great for them. Um I loved her character and she has an amazing voice and she's just a delight to see on stage because she's so sweet and nice and absolutely amazing. And yeah, Jane Carl as, as Miss Shingle. Oh my good God. She's absolutely amazing. I loved her. She's hilarious. And I was really, really upset with this because I feel like if there would be no plot without her character because she was the she's the one who tells Monty you're a die you're a die squith and what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, she's the one who basically tells him and she's the one who turns him into this mad killer and makes him actually become Earl and yeah, I feel like if she should have been a little more like in the story. She should have maybe even narrated instead of Monty. That's my that's what I think. But, yeah. She was amazing. I don't know how to say his name, but sorry. Darker True... I'm gonna look at the playbook better, because I messed up writing his name. Darko Tren... Trezenjack. Darko Trezenjack is the director of A Gentleman's Guide. And the show is very, very well directed. And it's done so smart, and I feel like if... Everything is exactly where it's supposed to be. So I really, like, loved his um, direction. And it was very, very, very well casted, too. He should get nominated. Um, Robert L. Freeman's books, book and lyrics. Um, the book and lyrics are extremely smart, and the choice of words are extremely fitting to the production. Um, I feel like if... The li I feel like if the music is a little better than the lyrics, but I mean, like, it's all going to be like, I, I don't know how the Tonys are going to do it to get to this year. They're going to like do lyrics and music, but if, if they're going to do it together, I don't feel like if this should win because some of the lyrics, like, yeah, um, not, not my favorite score, but it's a very good score. Um, Steven Lutvax, music and lyrics. I love the music to this book, to this um musical. It's very like English and 1900s and absolutely amazing. Um yeah. I love the set. Um Alex's Alex Alexander Dodge Dodge's set is amazing and the set is basically like there's a stage on on the stage. And there's, like, this red curtain, and they have, like, projections, and it's absolutely amazing. The lighting design is so, 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 so good. I absolutely love the lighting design. Um, and something that I noticed about it, that it would go pink when Sabella's on stage, and it would go purple when Phoebe's on stage. And when they're both on stage, it's, like, the same color. But when Phoebe's on stage with Monty, the lights would go pink. And when, um, no, when Sabella's on stage with Monty, it will go pink. And when Phoebe's on stage with Monty, it will go purple. And, yeah. Stuff about the show. Um, at my performance, Thomas Meehan was at the performance. And I got to take a picture with him, and he was extremely nice. And he wrote Rocky, and he wrote Annie, too. And that was really, really cool meeting him. Um, there was this guy, I forgot his name, his... I think his name is, like, something the science man. I don't know. But he was at the performance. And, yeah. So, I feel like if that was really, really weird, um, cool. And the stage, though, was really, really good for this show. Everybody came out. All the leads came out. And I didn't actually, I didn't get um, Lauren Worsham's autograph. Or I didn't get to take a picture with her either. I don't know why, because... 
She signed everybody's playbook except mine. I don't know. I guess she forgot or something, but yeah. This up here is Bryce Pink M. This here is Lisa O'Hare. This is Jefferson Mays. They all wrote with like skinny Sharpies. And down here it's Jane Carr. And yeah. So yeah, go see A Gentleman's Guide to Love and Murder at the Walter Kern Theater on 48th Street. Oh, let me take a fell. On 48th Street between 8th and Broadway. Bye-bye.